<laughs> I brought my uh, cheat sheet. <laughs> my name is Megan Minkevich. Many of you have probably seen my husband and I around Bend, dragging around a puppy in a little green jacket. This is Dyson. He is a guide dog puppy in training. And every year we raise a new puppy for guide dogs for the blind. This all started 16 years ago with the blonde in the middle. I adopted a dog from guide dogs who um, I had for 16 years and he was my soulmate and he did everything with us and it was because of him that we got involved with guide dogs. We thought we'd raise a puppy to give back. Dyson's number eight, so we don't do math well. Um, the first two were the blonde bombshells, the girls, that's Solstice and Lotus, both yellow Labrador females. Following those, we had the four boys who are um, Andera, Arden, Laker, and a Labrador Golden Retriever cross, Caleb. I can tell you all of their nicknames, all of their quirks, and every single one of them stole a piece of my heart. Dice it. Guide Dogs for the Blind is a nonprofit organization <laughs> founded in 1942 to provide um, service dogs for uh, returning servicemen from World War II. The unique thing about guide dogs is all of their services are offered free of charge to students. They have no federal funding. Why do we do this? Why not? Um, aside from the cute bucket of puppies, um, some things that we've heard graduates say are, your dog has changed my life. I feel part of the community now. Your dog has made me travel more safely and confidently. Who are puppy raisers? All sorts of people raise puppies. They are um, adults, children, families, single folks, professionals, um, students. What do we all have in common? We're all volunteers. We don't get paid. I have another job. The breeds used by guide dogs are Labrador Retrievers in yellow and black, Golden Retrievers, and Labrador Golden Retriever Crosses. They've tried other breeds. Turns out not all breeds have the aptitude to work. All of the puppies are born, that's little do it, Dyson. All the puppies are born at the San Rafael campus of guide dogs to specifically selected breeding stock where they're cared for 24 by seven by the veterinary and maternity staff before they are placed with a puppy raiser like myself at age eight weeks. So what do we do? We take an eight week old puppy, invite it into our home for a year. We teach it to walk on a leash, go to the bathroom on command, have good house manners, um, remain calm, and most importantly, to trust us. And they do that pretty well. So my three-year-old nephew and a puppy, absolutely no difference. <laughs> the, both cute, a lot of work, and well worth the trouble. I like them. I'll keep them both. Um, everyday life where we go, a puppy goes. So it's just the grind, the grocery store, the gym, um, the uh, REI, Costco, it's pretty boring, and usually they fall asleep, so I'm kind of surprised he's still standing. Maybe he's got a little stage fright. Um, we take them everywhere we go, and our goal is to give them as much social exposure as we can. So festivals, concerts, movies, restaurants, you name it, we'll take a puppy there. Um, then we also, I travel a lot for work. So puppies travel with me. And they go to San Francisco on a regular basis because that's where my office is. Our puppies have traveled the entire Western US with us, stayed in downtown hotels, fishing lodges, and um, anywhere in between. But we do make sure they have a lot of fun. It's not all work. Um, we do a lot of hiking. We do camping. We occasionally dress them up in costumes because I get a little bored. And mostly at home, they're just a family pet. And they're with us all, just like your dogs. Then they head off to college at about 16 months of age to the guide dog campus where they stay for four to six months being trained. They also get to have a lot of fun outside of learning formal guide work. They play in the community, run with other dogs, and get lots of love from the staff. From there, if a dog passes through all of the levels of training, they're matched with a student. They match the student to the dog based on the needs of both. The student trains for uh, two to four weeks on campus, 24 by seven living there, and then some dogs don't make it. And those that don't make it go on to have very successful careers as therapy dogs, search and rescue dogs, uh, family pets, canine buddies for blind children. So lots of other jobs for them. 
And finally, if you want to learn more, the Guide Dog for the Blind Campus in Sandy, Oregon is open to the public. You can attend a graduation. You can um, tour campus. You can also follow Dyson on the Daily Dyson on Facebook if you're so inclined. Daily picture, follow his little journey. And then finally, I don't really like LOL cats. I don't get it. But we got Betty White at Guide Dogs, so she's awesome. <laughs> And finally, if you see us in town, we're pretty friendly, we're pretty easy to spot in a crowd, stop and ask us any questions you have. Thanks for having us. <laughs>